Today is Thursday, April 23rd, and uh, we're talking about our circle of fifths today. And the circle of fifths is really cool. Um, some of the stuff we've been showing you is you can take circle of fifths, and you can see how songs are put together using the circle of fifths. You can use the circle of fifths to transpose songs from one key to another key. You can use circle of fifths to figure out how to play chords. Um, there's so many different things you can do. It's, it's fun. Uh, but what we're going to show you today is how do you take the circle of fifths and how do you play scales with it? So we're going to start right here in our wedge. This is the easiest wedge. And remember the reason that circle of fifths chords are grouped together is because they are similar in their number of sharps and flats, right? So if you look up here, there's no sharps and flats in the key of C. This is interesting. These are the major keys on the outside, the minors on the inside. In the minor keys, there's also the same number of sharps and flats. So a C major has the same number of sharps and flats as an A minor. That's why they're there together. Now, what do they do over here? They say, well, let's put the G here because, well, it's only separated by one sharp. So that's why those chords work together. Okay? Let's put the F here. We'll go the flats this way. This one is only different by one flat. So that's why they make sense that they're together. Now, with the F being here, the D minor also has one flat in its key signature. That's why that minor chord is aligned with that major chord. E minor has one sharp in it, an F sharp, so that's why the E minor and the G major are aligned together. And you can kind of see around the circle, they're only separated by a flat at a time, or if you're going this way, they're only separated by a sharp at a time. Okay? So let's start with the C today. C is right here. Okay. Or our virtual piano down here. And what this is telling us, if you're playing your C scale, you don't have to worry about any sharps and flats. So you just go from C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So it's going to sound like this. Or if you're using your uh, virtual keyboard, it sounds like this. So we, you just played a C scale using uh, the circle of fifths to help you out. Now, if you want to play an A minor scale, it's the same number of sharps and flats, right? Except now, we're going to be starting on the A. So it's going to go A, B, C. And again, you don't have to worry about any sharps and flats. We may run out of a little room here. That's okay. Six, seven. And then the A is going to be over here, right off the edge. So that one's going to sound like this. Coming back down. So you just made a C major scale. You made an A minor scale. Here's the A minor scale on your virtual piano down here. So now let's go over to the F. If you look over here, we have one flat, and that flat is the B flat. Okay. So if we play this scale, we're going to start on F. And we're going to go to G, A. Now that's the flat right there. So we got to play B flat, C, D, E, F. Sounds like this. <laughs> If you're playing it here, we have all right. So now let's go up to the D minor up here, right? So that means we're going to start in the D, and the only flat we have to worry about is the B flat, same as the F. This is so much fun. One, two, three, four, five. We have to make this a flat. Five, 
So now your D minor scale sounds like this. If you're using your virtual keyboard, it sounds like this, or it looks like this. And back down. So we've done the C, we've done the A minor, we've done the F and the D minor. We're going to do two more scales with the circle of fifths. Let's go to a G scale. So we're going to start on the G. And now we have to watch for an F sharp. That's the only thing we have to worry about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. F sharp or G flat. Sounds like this. That's your G major. Looks like this. Okay, now the last one is going to be the E minor for today. E minor is right here. Same thing again. We're starting on the E. We just go up, and all we have to remember is one sharp. E minor scale using the circle of this. Well, it sounds like this. And if you're using your virtual, it looks like this. Isn't that cool? So what you did today, um, we talked about circle of fifths. You can use it for songwriting, and we're going to show you that. You can use it to analyze songs. You can use it to transpose songs. You can use it to make keys. Uh, and in this case, you can use it to make scales. And what we did is we said C and A minor. C major and A minor have zero sharps and zero flats. The F major, D minor has one flat, B flat. And the G major and the E minor has one sharp, F sharp. Okay? So have a good Thursday, and I will smell you later.